My name is Rogério Meirelles Pinto, and the paper that I wrote for the American Journal of Public Health is about the unified health system in Brazil. I look at transdisciplinary collaboration between physicians, nurses, and community health workers in community-based units in two cities in the southeast of Brazil, trying to identify correlations and, and relationships between evidence-based practice and how physicians, nurses, and community health workers integrate primary care in public health services. We have a country of almost 200 million people in a unified health system. It is a daunting system to implement and it's a daunting system to maintain. The sheer size of it is what makes people stop and think about it. The idea for the unified health system was to have a strategy that utilizes transdisciplinary collaboration among many different types of providers, service providers, so that individuals can, as individuals or as families and as communities, receive a combination, an integration of primary care services with public health services that can address beyond the symptoms that someone may be feeling individually, but they can actually address problems that an entire family may be facing and an entire community may be facing, such as lack of electricity, such as lack of clean water, lack of sanitation. The beauty of studying two municipalities in the southeast of Brazil is because those two municipalities had been funded by the federal government to do this for many years. So physicians, nurses and community health workers were already in place. Most community health workers, including those that we interviewed for the paper, have a high school education or even less than a high school education. What they have to offer that physicians and nurses and many other professionals don't have is indigenous knowledge. They have a very clear understanding of what the community is facing. And they have a way of imparting knowledge that is quite different from the medical way of teaching people how to change health behavior. When a community health worker visits a family in a community, that same health worker can provide several services at the same time. That community health worker may be teaching someone how to cook uh, a diet that is uh, appropriate for someone who has diabetes or someone who has hypertension. That same community health worker may be checking for clean water for the very cooking that she's teaching uh, the residents. And in the next day, that same person may come by the house, pick up an elderly person, and take that elderly person to the doctor. And during that visit, the doctor is giving medication for the hypertension, medication for the diabetes. And reinforcement of some of those medication taking might be done by the nurse. And that's how those services actually get integrated. was that when different kinds of professionals come together and they think together and they actually practice together and create spaces where they can actually exchange ideas and they begin to listen to one another and they begin to listen to input from patients, we notice that this thing works well, that when this is happening, we see a lot of more integration of services and we see a lot more usage of evidence-based practices. After we published the paper in the American Journal of Public Health, the journal received a letter from a physician in the United States emphasizing that a lot of the results that we have come to uh, could be applicable to different countries. And one of the key issues that this person actually brought out in the letter was the fact that we measured uh, as part of um, evidence-based practice the idea of collecting data from patients and families and communities and using the data that we collect from the community residents to come up with treatment plans that are more to the liking of those individuals. Uh, and why is that important is because if you provide a treatment to someone that is something that they like to do, that is something that they actually understand, they are a lot more likely to adhere to that treatment. We found it to be quite uh, interesting that this letter was sent and actually responded, emphasizing the idea that for us was very important uh, is something that is very old in social work, is the idea that the person in the environment 
is the key unit of analysis in, in anything that we do because we not only believe but have seen empirically that the environment actually has a huge impact on how people behave. Because we know that families and communities are facing so many different health-related issues, it's very important to know and comforting to know that if we have a system that helps professionals come together and integrate those services, we can actually get better outcomes. And knowing that this is happening in a way that appears to be working well in Brazil, it gives us hope that we can actually bring that same kind of system to different places where this, this very system doesn't exist.